Hi, my name is Valerie Carter and you're watching Dear America with Love. Um, I think I have a really great encouraging word today, so I'm going to just get straight into it and I'm going to pray and then I'm just going to release what the Lord is telling me. So Father God, we just thank you and praise you for this word. We thank you that um, you are constantly giving um, wisdom into your people, Lord, and I pray that, um, that we as the hearers of the things that you are saying, that we apply them, Lord, that we mature from them, that we have a heart postured to um, learn from you, Father. So I just thank you and I praise you and I give you glory and honor because there's no one like you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So back in 2018, the Lord actually gave me this word. My mother-in-law was actually speaking at a women's Christmas tea and it was actually December 15th, 2018. And she's speaking at this Christmas tea and where we sat, our table um, was directly in the middle of the room. So I could turn to the left or the right and I could see everybody in the room except for the table behind me. And um, one of the gifts that the Lord has given me is, is that um, he reveals to me when people have been abused and, um, you know, whether it's sexual abuse, verbal abuse, uh, physical abuse, it, men, women, it doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's, I, I can see the spirit almost wearing a person like a trophy. Um, so I'm sitting at the table and my mother-in-law is speaking this beautiful message. And the Lord says, I want you to tear, turn around and look at the room and tell me what you see. And I glanced around and I looked from table to table and I went, oh, wow, Lord, I kind of see a bunch of survivors. And he said, exactly. And I was like, hmm, okay. And he goes, I don't really like that word survivor. And not that he doesn't like the word survivor, but he doesn't like it when we attach ourselves to the word survivor. And he, and he then asked me, he goes, but what are you? And I said, oh Lord, I'm an overcomer. He goes, exactly. That's the message that you're gonna put out. And I went, I don't think so. I don't think so. It was like time out, time out. Um, people like cancer survivors, breast cancer survivors. I actually had a cousin at the time that was going through breast cancer and she's like, I'm a cancer survivor. And um, I'm all, they're not gonna appreciate me putting this word out that you don't want us as believers connecting with survivor. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, yeah, I already got that under control. Don't worry about it. You're just going to give the word. I'm like, uh-oh. And of course, um, the Lord did not give me cancer, but I did get cancer. And the Lord used that for his glory. And of course, I am a breast cancer warrior. I am not a survivor. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really go through what that means. So if you look in the Bible, and of course, I always study out of the New King James Version, or I'll just go straight to the King James Version because it went, it literally went, and I notice I say that word a lot, literally. It went um, Hebrew, Greek to Latin, and Latin to basically one of the first versions of English was the King James Version. Then in the 1970s, the NIV came out and they modernized all these words. And then the New King James came out and the New King James is just basically taking the King James version and removing the these and the thous, but it didn't modernize a lot of the words. So if you were to look up the word survivor, I wanna just look, I just wanna go over that word with you. To survive something is to remain or continue to exist, to endure or live through affliction, adversity, or misery. And I was, when I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's kind of huge. So basically to be a survivor is you're still reaping the consequences of what you went through. You're still having to live through that. And so there was a song that was put out, I'm not even sure, like maybe the 90s or 2000, I'm a survivor. And, you know, I've heard a lot of women who are like, yeah, I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor of domestic violence. I'm a survivor of of cancer. I'm a survivor of abuse. And I would just always hear the Lord go, but not you, but not you. And I'm like, nope, I'm an overcomer. I want to read what 
overcomer is. An overcomer is one who overcomes, vanquishes, or surmounts. A person who overcomes something, one who succeeds in dealing with or gaining control over some problem or difficulty. To overcome means to defeat another in a competition or in a conflict, to deal with successfully prevail or vanquish. Wow, vanquish. So to be an overcomer is to vanquish, and the word vanquish means to defeat or conquer in battle and subjugate. I wanna go back to what survivor means. It means to remain or continue to exist. So um, I speak from experience. I'm not just, you know, coming out of thin air, being someone that has um, been a victim of uh, sexual abuse, just abuse in general. Um, to be a survivor to me is, I, it, it means to me, I, I'm going to let it control me. Like I'm going to be always living my life around that abuse. So, you know, I've been married a very long time and when I first got married I was just being a survivor and I was allowing the things that I survived through to still come in and um, dictate to me how I was gonna live my life how I was gonna live my marriage how the decisions I was going to make I was just surviving I wasn't living I was surviving now I want to kind of go over with you this the word survivor is not in the King James Version at all. Not one time. Zero. It is in the New King James Version eight times. But I want to give you the contents of what is say, being said about the survivor. So I'm going to read it. So th this is in Numbers 21. So they defeated him, his sons, and all his people until there was no survivor, and they took possession of the land. Deuteronomy chapter 3. So the Lord our God also delivered into our hands Og king of Bashan with all his people and we attacked them until we had no survivors remaining. There's Ezra chapter 9. Should we again break your commandments and join in marriage with the people committing these abominations? Would you not be angry with us until you have consumed us so that there would be no remnant or survivors? I'm going to read one more. Lamentations. It's all in the Old Testament. Lamentations chapter 2. Um, you have invited as to the feast of day the terrors that surrounded me. In the day of the Lord's anger, there was no refuge or survivor. Those whom I have borne and brought up my enemies have destroyed. So the word survivor in the Bible doesn't have a positive um, outcome. To survive something is just to be left over. You're just living and you're just living the leftovers and there's no reward in being a survivor. There's just none. But I wanna take you to scripture. I wanna take you to Romans 8.37. So, Again, I want to I want to I want to talk about coming into agreement with these lying spirits or these negative words, right? There's life and death in the power of our of our tongue. The Bible says that. I'm not going to always give references because I want you to look up where these scriptures are. But there's life and death in the power of the tongue. If you're just constantly walking around, I'm a survivor, I'm a survivor, then that's all you are. You're just living with these leftover consequences of of the things that are coming. Um, at you but you don't have to live that way because the word of God says it says yet Romans 8 37 yet in all things we are more than a conqueror through him who loved us so you can take your circumstance you can take the abuses of your life the traumas that have happened to you and you can say instead of saying I'm a survivor you can say I'm an overcomer I'm more than a conqueror I am a vanquisher of the enemy and the things that he brings at me I'm not going to let them affect me. I'm actually going to live what the word of God says, the promises that he has. I am more than a conqueror. I wanted to read 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. This one's great. For whoever is born of God, so once you become a child of God, overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who 
is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So God is saying, don't be a survivor, be an overcomer. Don't be a survivor, be a vanquisher, be a more than a conqueror, right? That's what the Word of God is calling us to be. I want to go to 1 Peter 5.8. How do we be more than a conqueror? 1 Peter 5.8 says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Oh my goodness. I love this scripture. My friend and I, Elena, were sitting down. We're having um, cookies. Um, we were having an after school, after school treat. We're having cookies. And she asked, she brings this scripture up to me. And she made this point. She goes, like, the devil is like a lion. What? That's right. Like and as are similes. They're, they're comparing two things that aren't really alike. He is like a lion. See, God is the lion. He went in as the sacrificial lamb on the cross and came out the roaring lion. He is the lion, the tribe of Judah. It doesn't say that he's like the lion, the tribe of Judah. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the king of um, all the kingdoms, right? So be sober. Be vigilant. Be, be aware that you do have an adversary that wants to keep you in survivor mode, right? He wants to keep you in survivor mode, but God said, no, you are a vanquisher of the enemy. I have given you the authority to crush and stamp and step on scorpions and serpents, right? The devil only has the authority that we give him when we come into the agreement with. When we say things like, well, I suffer from anxiety, you're suffering from anxiety because you're coming into agreement with it. Well, you know, I suffer, I get really fearful and oh, I, you're suffering from fear because you've come into agreement with it. I know these things because I did that. I did that. I came into agreement with anxiety and fear. And, oh my gosh, it ruled my life. But when I was like, God, forgive me, I was making it an idol in my life. God, forgive me. I literally felt spirits jump off of me. And there was such a freedom that I had because I wasn't going to live in a survivor mentality. I was going to, I decided and to believe the very word of God that says, I am a vanquisher of the enemy in battle. I am a vanquisher of the enemy. God has given us the authority to do that in his name, the name of Jesus. I love that song by Charity Gale, I think her name is. And she sings, I speak Jesus. <clears throat> and a lot of times when I don't know what to pray, I literally just pray Jesus, the name of Jesus, right? At the name of Jesus, the enemy has to flee seven ways. At the name of Jesus, people are healed. At the name of Jesus, people are delivered at the name of Jesus, people are transformed. At the name of Jesus, they are saved. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. And if God is before me and he says in his word, I am more than a conqueror. It is present tense. I am more than a conqueror. It's also future tense. I am an overcomer. I am a vanquisher of the enemy. So this word is to encourage you who is just, you're just going through the motions and you're, you're, you're walking around going, I'm a survivor. You know, I'm, I'm reaping the consequences of, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe um, you, you're coming out of domestic violence and you're living in fear and you're constantly jumping and it, because you've come into agreement with that. You need to start speaking life over yourself and says the word of God says that I am a vanquisher of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. Start speaking life over yourself. So I hope that this word encourages you. I hope that this word penetrates your heart to where you go, I'm going to speak what the word of God says over me. I'm not going to believe the things that are whispered in my ear. I'm not going to even believe what the world says what the world judges me by. I'm actually going to believe the word of God. The word of God says, I am loved. I am worthy. I am accepted. I'm not rejected. I am 
overcomer. Um, I am, uh, I'm a vanquisher. I totally did not even finish my thought process on Charity Gale. Speak Jesus into every situation. Speak Jesus. You're struggling. You know, maybe you're struggling with the spirit of lust. You know what, Lord Jesus, I just need you to be in this moment. I speak Jesus over, over this moment. I am more than a conqueror. I can vanquish the enemy. The enemy has to flee seven ways. Maybe you're, you're, you're struggling with addictions of drugs and alcohol. I am an overcomer. Maybe you're struggling with fear. I am an overcomer. You know, so I hope that this word is encouraging to you. And um, I can never say it enough. Open your Bible. Search out the word of God. I mentioned some scriptures. Go and search out the scriptures. And um, what is God telling you? What, what is he telling you? He loves you so much. He's going to continue to speak to you. And um, yeah, I pray that this blesses you. You have a great day.